we're going to continue with our vertical menu. So open up Retail Palette and log in. Make sure you use your Google login. Go to your repels. You should have a Web Design 101 directory and a practice, HTML practice. Again, index is what gets run when you run it. So all of our links need to be in there. We are going to create a vertical menu, which we started previously. All right, so we've, if you have not completed this, this is what the code looks like. Please go ahead and see the previous video. All right, so now we're going to actually make this more useful. We're gonna make it a little bit wider. So we're gonna give it a width of 200 pixels. that oh, no space between the px okay that looks better we're also going to make one side of our button have a little bit of an accent So now we're going to enhance the colors, or we're going to create a accent on the left side of the button. We're going to do that with the border left commands. Border left width. We're going to make that eight pixels. We're going to be putting a dark blue border on this green button. So we're also going to do the border left style. That's going to be solid. And then the last thing is we have a border left color. And I want to be a dark blue, so you can Google CSS colors. First, the one that pops up is the W3 schools, and I want the dark blue. So I could either use the code, or I could just actually use the name, and that is supported. So let's go ahead and put that in. Dark blue. Go ahead and run that. And now our border has a dark blue accent. Okay, now we're going to make these links active. So down here in our body that we created the li link one, I'm going to get rid of the words link one. Um, I'm actually going to put my anchor in between the opening list item and the closing list item. Remember, tags do not have to be on the same line. So for readability, I'm going to break this up. I'm going to put my anchor tag, which is what we use to create links a attribute called h ref sign open quote and we're gonna have to go get that h ref um, so we're gonna link to the high school so let's go find the high school okay there's our link control c to copy it highlight it copy it come back to our code and paste it, and that becomes our link. So we're going to close the opening A tag. Let's go ahead and close the A tag, making a space for the text for the link. Remember, everything between the opening A tag and the closing A tag is the link itself. So we're going to put in there West Valley A School. 
So we're going to go ahead and run that. Click on vertical menu. Now we see that West Valley High School doesn't fit in the button and it stacks, which is okay. Or if you do want it to fit, you got to go change the width. Um, I just noticed I have two widths in here, so I'm going to get rid of the second one. You can have two of the same thing in a CSS list, but the last one red will take precedence. So it was at 200. Let's make it 300. And that. And now our link fits. Uh, again, if you need to restrict the size of your menu, you can change the width and it will stack the text within. So now we're going to dress up our links so that when we hover over them, the background color changes, the color of the text changes, and we are going to switch the border to the other side. Basically, we're going to make it opposite from what it is now. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that we can change the color when we do hover over it with the mouse. So we're going to affect the unordered list have a class of V menu. I'm going to affect the LI when we hover over it. In the opening and closing curly brackets. So the first thing we're going to do is just change the background color. And it was green before, so we're going to make it dark blue. We're doing the opposite. Now when we run that, when we hover over it, the background color is now dark blue. Let's go ahead and make the text instead of white. We're going to make it green. Now we're going to make it dark blue as well. When we're not hovering over it, when we are hovering over it, we want to change the font color to green. So now that's opposite. Okay, we got a blue link. And when we hover over it, the link becomes green. Nice. All right, again, the last one of the other things we want to do is swap it over so that when we hover over it, we get green accent on the left on the right side and no accent on the left side so we're going to take the left border off making our left border width zero pixels and that make sure that works And now we need to swap the border over to the right. So we're going to do the same three lines we did before in the when we're not hovering on the right side this time. So border right width is going to be eight pixels. Border right style be solid border right color would be green When we hover over it, it swaps over so that the left, the right border is green. Now we want to need to get rid of these visited so that when we visit something, it's not underlined. So we need to create another rule for the UL as a class of V menu. But this time we're going to affect the A anchor. The visited the 
the brackets. And we're going to turn, change the color to the same color when we're not hovering, which in this case is dark blue. And we're going to take the text decoration I'm going to make it none, which will make should make the underline go away. And that there is one more we need to affect. That's the UL that has a V menu, a anchor, and a link. Let's set that up the same way. dark blue and text decoration should be none make sure we spell text decoration up here correct use the autofill run and the underline is gone The last thing we need to do is add some actual more links. Um, you can choose whichever you want. So I'm going to add a couple more links to my menu. So I'm going to cut and paste the LI that I made for the West Valley link. Paste it once. Hit enter. Paste it again. Make sure my allies line up. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna link to is the Seahawks. Since I'm using their colors for my menu, come back here and we're gonna make link to, I'm gonna highlight the href, control V, paste that in. I like to get rid of the backslash. Doesn't it's not required, but it's a little cleaner. And we're gonna call that the Seahawks. And then the last one I'm gonna do is the online editor that I've been using for all of these videos I've been making. If you haven't checked out We Video and you would like to, please let me know. I have some um, licenses for the full-blown version and I can send you a link to sign that up. So here's actually the timeline of the video we're currently making. It has, it's a full multi-track editor. Um, it's pretty good and it works on all platforms. Enough with that. So I'm going to go back because I want the link to the home page, so I'm going to control C. <clears throat> Back, change out the href, make sure I'm inside the quotes. B. And that is called We Edit. No, We Video. All right, let's go ahead and run that. Let's see if our vertical menu, um, I must have a third link that I haven't messed with yet. So we've got Seahawks. All right. Okay, that worked. Um, so it doesn't like the internal link and we've run into this before. Let's go back to the index and I'm going to create another link that will run the vertical menu outside of the repel it. If you want to run it so it's not in so it's not in this window, 
you can add a target equal open quote underscore blank. What that'll do is when you click that link, it will go, it will open it up in, directly in Chrome and not in the repel it. Oh, let's go ahead and make sure that we give that a different link so that we know in a new window. Run that. Click on it. Should open it out in a new window. And now it wants to get sometimes if it won't open within the editor, you want to open it up in a blank page like that. All right. There is the full list of the code for this assignment.